students today we are going towards the next part of telemetry system that is about the voltage and current telemetry and the merits and demerits of the voltage and current telemetry system basically in the last class we studied about the telemetry systems in which we study about the meaning of telemetry the definition of telemetry and after that the classification of telemetry when we talk about telemetry classification it means we are talking about basically two types first one is electrical and second one is non electrical telemetry system in today's lecture we are talking about the electrical telemetry system and the one of the type of electrical telemetry system is voltage and current telemetry system so from starting from voltage telemetry system so as its name suggest voltage telemetry system it means when you are going to take any physical quantity into the account and going to convert it through the transducer or any sensor then it is going to be converted into the voltage form of the signal so when we are talking about the voltage form of the system then this point is here that it measured variable is transmitted in form of voltage so now the question arises that uh, how we are going to construct the system for the voltage telemetry system and another system or another parts of a voltage telemetry system how you are going to, uh, how you are going to decide so basically as you all know that when we are talking about voltage it is always about the parallel combination means whenever you want to consider voltage you have to connect the voltage across the resistor so when we are taking it into account it means the slide wire at the transmitting end is going to connected in series because this is our slide wire and it is connected into the series of the system that's why this slide wire is going to connect through the two particular a transducer or a sensor so that it can take the physical quantity and convert it into the electrical signal in the form of the voltage here i am taking one example of burden tube but it is not always necessary that you are always taking a burden tube actually you can take any type of transducer or sensor as per your requirement so when you are going to check a pressure here we are uh, we are taking a example of pressure measurement at a remote location so we are using a burden tube as you all know that burden tube is basically a tube made of plastic material of a, or elastic material which can expand or contract as per the changes in the pressure so when the pressure changes slider actuate the slider of potentiometer that's change in the voltage is transmitted to the voltmeter to understand it more we go through this diagram in this diagram you can easily see that here it is a transmitting end means this transmitting is uh, end is located at the remote location now that particular remote location physical quantity is going to be measured through this arrangement and at the receiving end we are here this particular complete signal is going to be transmitted through connecting wires it means again one point is cleared that in voltage telemetry system you are using wired telemetry system 
it means you can easily understand one point that voltage telemetry system that is a electrical telemetry system is also a wired telemetry system and it cannot be used for the long distances. So, now we are going towards the voltage telemetry uh, system arrangement. You can see that here it is a battery and this is a potentiometer arrangement in which there is a slide wire. That slide wire is connected in series with this system and a burden tube is applied here. This burden tube is made of elastic material. So, when the pressure is applied on this burden tube, it will either expand or contract. So, when it expand or contract, it will change the position of this slide wire and due to this change in slide wire, the overall resistance of this potentiometer will change. That change in potentiometer is measured through this potential scale which is connected into the in parallel, you can see here. As I told you earlier, whenever you want to measure the voltage across any system, you always connect that voltmeter in parallel. So, here you can see that this potentiometer is connected in series, but this voltage voltmeter or we can say that the potential scale calibrated for the voltage measurement is connected in parallel. So, as far as this particular burden tube will expand or contract as per the pressure, this position of the slider wire will change, that will change in the resistance of the potentiometer and that change in potentiometer uh, resistance is directly calculated or measured in the form of voltage at this potential scale through this connecting wires which is also called telemetry channels. So, you can easy, easily understand one point that in voltage telemetry system, you are going to convert the physical change into the voltage form. Now, going towards the next part that as I told already told you that if you are going to measure the particular that uh, pressure part, then you are using that burden tube, but now it is not always necessary that you are going to take only the pressure. You can measure any type of physical quantity. So, I am taking the next example. In this next example, you can easily see that here I am taking account the level of a liquid in a particular tank. You can see that here this diagram is showing the liquid in a tank. The tank level is going to be measured in the form of elect, uh, voltage. So, how it is going to be arranged? You can see that a weight is arranged with this uh, particular uh, level and a floater is placed on the another end of the weight. Whenever this level will increase or decrease, this, the, this particular uh, weight will adjust its uh, uh, particular uh, that uh, slide wire, this is the slide wire, slide wire of potentiometer. It means whenever the level of the fluid will increase or decrease, the position of this slide wire will also change. And again you can see that this is connected in the series in this system as this is the battery or the power supply and that change in particular voltage is going towards this particular receiving end through the wire channel. It means here again it is showing that voltage telemetry system is a wired telemetry system and it cannot be used for the long distances. Here it is also arrangement voltage arrangement with a galvanometer which is showing the uh, level of the liquid in the tank. Then the next part if I am going to measure the displacement 
and you know that for the measurement of displacement we are going to use LVDT means linear variable differential transformer for this purpose. So, in this particular diagram you can easily see that here a LVDT is the applied that LVDT is linear variable differential transformer and the displacement is applied here on the particular permanent uh, that move magnet which is applied on the the main part of the LVDT. So, you can see that this particular movement is applied here that displacement is going to change the magnetic field between the coils of the primary and secondary coils of the LVDT and that is going to transfer through this particular uh, connecting wires to this receiver part and in, at the receiver part the, this particular uh, uh, calibrated uh, system uh, is going to give you the voltage measurement. So, you can see that in these all three systems first one was this in the burden tube, second one was that uh, using a floater and third one was is a with, with a LVDT. This LVDT is the last time question also in the university exam, but the main difference between these three arrangements you can see that in previous both in the first one using burden tube and the second one the floater you can see that you are using two wire transmission here there are two wires are connected with the receiving end uh, receiving and transmitting end but in the lvdt you can see that it is a three wire arrangement so what is the difference between three and two wire transmission that is going to be understood in the last slide of this lecture then the next part that is the current telemetry system now the working of the complete current telemetry system is same as voltage telemetry system but there is only one difference and that one difference is you know that when you want to measure current in any resistance you apply the voltmeter in sorry the ammeter in series but when you want to measure voltage across any resistance then you apply the voltmeter in the parallel combination as per this arrangement you measured the voltage in the previous voltage telemetry system but now in current telemetry system you are connecting the ammeter or the measuring unit measuring unit in particular series part. So, how it is going to be arranged you can see that this is the same transmitting end receiving end both are connected with two wire transmission line and you can see that in the previous one this burden tube was connected on the slider or the potentiometer that potentiometer was connected in series, but here it is connected in parallel and this particular arrangement of a meter is connected into the series of the system you can see that. So, overall this complete system is connected in series you can see that here the burden tube is applied the pressure is going to change at this burden tube this burden tube will, ex will expand or contract as per the pre as per the pressure and that pressure is going to change the position of the slider on the potentiometer. So, what will happen you can see that this particular change in slider will change this variable resistance as you know that in the potentiometer this is variable resistance and the value of this variable resistance is going to change as per the position of the slider and then this particular change in resistance is going to be converted into current because this is connected in complete series that is going towards this particular milli 
emitter calibrated system which is on the tri receiving end. So, again you can easily understand one point very clearly that in the both system you are going to use only the basic system which I told you earlier that in for the current measurement connected in series for the voltage measurement connected in parallel. You can use any type of transducer or sensor for sensing the physical changes as LVDT, LVDT is used for displacement. You can know that uh, diaphragm arrangement is also used for the pressure changes. Ultrasonic measurement is also there. You can use the thermistor, thermocouple, or uh, that temperature transducer for the change in temperature also. So, so, it means in the current telemetry system, you can going to apply the same system as per the voltage telemetry system, but only change is that you are going to connect it into series. Then again this the same arrangement which I show you in the previous slide of voltage telemetry system, you can see that here you are going to convert it into the current part. The same water tank is there or the fluid tank is there in which you are going to measure the level and here we are uh, organize a level uh, indicator or the floater that floater is connected with the weight and the weight and floater arrangement is going to change the position of the slider wire. And you can see that in the both condition these two are connected through the two wire element system, two wire element system and these two wire element system are going to transmit this particular data to this part of the receiver. You can see that in this receiver as you are using a current part. So, N and S type calibration is there with a moving coil and that moving coil is going to show you the changes in the pos uh, floater position in the form of current. So, you can easily see that in the both systems whether it is a current cell telemetry system or a voltage telemetry system, there are only two differences first one of the series and second one of the parallel. It means another difference is between that you are going to use two wire transmission or three wire transmission. In this particular diagram you are taking a two wire transmission you can see that one two two wires. In this previous you are also using two wire transmission, but in this the previous one you are using three wires 1, 2, 3. Now, how it is going to change the system? This is also a very important point how it is going to change this particular concept. So, you can see that this is the 2 and 3 wire transmission system. This is very important and uh, many time the question is asked in the AKT examination regarding this whether it is a 5 marks or 2 marks question, but is it is always there. So, 2 and 3 wire transmission system. Basically, this 2 wire and 3 wire transmission system are arranged as per the current value for the 10 to 0 to 10 to 20, 10 20 milli ampere we are using 3 wire transmission where in the 2 wire we are applying only 4 to 20 milli amperes in which the two wire technique is better for intrinsic safety intrinsic safety means the specific safety of the system and two wire techniques provides loop break detection loop break detection means 
you can see that in the previous diagram of this uh, current telemetry system, you can see that there is loop, there is a loop between the transmitting end and the receiving end. You can see that that particular battery is here, its positive part is connected with the potentiometer, that same wire is going through the telemetry channel, going towards the millimeter calibrator, then coming towards the negative. It means there is a complete loop is there. If any type of breakage is there, if any type of breakage is there, it means it means you cannot detect that breakage in the three wire system, but in the two wire system you can manage that breakage. So, two wire technique provide loop break detection. Also, two wire technique has low installation cost. Also, three wire technique share supplies and common by both, you can see that this is the common line. So, this is a very important part of a transmission. So, in this particular part, you can understand that the merits and demerits of the voltage and current telemetry system are that in the both system effective for short distance only. V and I can be easily transmitted, circuitry required are simple, wide variety of primary sensing elements are there. But there are some demerits also that demands high SNR ratio means signal to noise power ratio, need to be protected from the EMI electromagnetic interferences or other type of noises. Also multiplexing is not there or very difficult and also limited frequency response. So, in this lecture we understand about the voltage telemetry system, the current telemetry system and we are going to start in the next part in about the frequency telemetry systems and the pulse telemetry system which both are belongs to also electrical telemetry system. So, till then thank you.